For peace, you just came into the government house. The first thing is fighting the people. Instead of you to engage them and continue to pass the knowledge in them, telling them that this sin is affecting the state. Peace in Ebo land, especially in Ebo land. The crisis happening in Enugu, in Imwanambre Boy, the Abia, Enugu, the five southeastern states, and God will intervene. I'm praying that God will continue to give the people a man with the Davidic anointing. Amen. Some people does not have what it takes to be a leader. You just enter into the office less than three months. Your number one agenda is to stop the people's ideology. What what the people what the people are used to. Some people are sitting at home out of fear. Some people are sitting at home because they feel like sitting. Some people they are used to it. So as a new governor that just enter, what you need to do is to take it easy with people. You fight ideology with ideology, not with force, gun, and bullet. To the extent of going to seal people's shop because they refuse to come out. That is not the way. You are about to set that peaceful state on fire. That is not the way forward. Ideology cannot be fight with gun and bullet. You engage people. You dialogue with people. Why will the first of achievement become, the, the first thing you want to start with is to create trouble instead of dialoguing with people. Now people came out and I heard that some people have lost their life. So we continue to pray for peace over there. But that is not the way forward. May God continue to give us leaders with wisdom. You can't just come and the, the first assignment is to, is to start something you know that can bring different reaction. You take it easy with them. Start your work. Let them see what you are doing before you are telling them that this thing is affecting this. May the Lord bless you, protect you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I cover you, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I pray for peace in Enugu. Amen. I pray for peace in Enugu. Amen. I pray for peace in Enugu. Amen. In the whole Ibo land, the whole Nigeria, in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. We must pray to have leaders. A leader should be a servant. A leader should be a servant. Nobody will die. Nobody will die with money. Nobody will be buried with one naira. You may have bodyguards today, police and army guiding you. In the grave, nobody will guide you there. Both the poor, the rich, the governor, the senator, the local government chairman, the president. One common thing that waits for everybody is his feet. Pastor, so man of God. What waits for everybody is his feet. And the power is not forever. So when we are hearing the news coming from Enugu, we are not happy about it. We are praying for peace over there. But I can't say in Kimo State. That we cannot achieve anything by fighting ourselves. That we are the one killing ourselves. Other tribe, other race are making peace and progress is coming to their home infrastructure development. And we're over there in the east killing ourselves. You just came into the government house. The first thing is fighting the people. Instead of you to engage them and continue to pass the knowledge in them, telling them that this thing is affecting this dialogue with them. Continue to dialogue. This thing is. Fight, fight, fight. Selling their child because they did not come out. People have right to say that they, want, they won't come out for one month. It is their job. So that is not the way forward. It's now nice. it's creating more trouble instead of peace. We are praying for peace in Iboland. Both the religious leaders, both the timber and calibers in Iboland must come out with one voice. If we don't stop this insecurity and trouble, it, there will be a time nobody, no big man again will remain in Bola. Everybody will run away. It's already happening. And that is what we are fighting. We don't want it to get to that level. May God bless the city. Amen. Bless all of you. Amen. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen.